Hello, this is Wendy. Selamat datang di YouTube channel saya, Wendy Floor. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Wendy Floor. In this video, I am going to show you around the penthouse. But before I do that, you can check out my blog where I wrote about living in Jakarta in an apartment or in a house. That blog or that article might be able to help you choose what kind of housing you want to have when you come over, either by choice or by or through work relocation. So good luck on that. I hope that article will help you. Now, this is a 490 square meter penthouse. So let's start. Let's start from here. In this building, we live on the topmost floor. And in this floor, we live alone. This is the only house or the only unit in this floor. And we have a key card. When you press the key card, it will send you directly to your floor. So same with the others, they will not be able to go to other floors. So you can say it's very safe. Okay, let's go. Welcome to our unit. As soon as you enter, this is what you see. And this is the guest toilet. It's very simple, very basic. When we have visitors, I try to put some halaman, some plants. We have the toilet there, and this is the entryway connecting to the stairs going up the bedrooms upstairs and the living room and our small garden here. Come. I just put a small cabinet here where we put the guest slippers and you can immediately see our small garden there outside. We'll go out there in a while. So this is the mirror. This is the mirror in the entryway filled with our mementos from the Philippines, the Singimaras, of course, Philippines, Korea, and here in Jakarta. This is my little project, ongoing project. I am going to have my Adansoni crawl up there. Okay, let's go. So this is the stairs going upstairs. Here are the shoe cabinets. I put the shoe cabinets here. Hide our shoes and some of our photos through the years. We have a little more space here down the stairs where I hide some things. And before we go to the other parts of the house, let's go to the master's bedroom. Welcome to the master's bedroom. Let's go to the toilet first. Here in the master's bedroom, we have two sinks, the his and hers. His and hers. So my husband's and mine. And we have the bathtub. There's the bathtub and the shower area and the toilet there. And in here, I have another dressing table where I do my stuff. These are the cabinets here in the master's bedroom. These are for my husband. So it's very convenient for him after, you know, taking a bath at all, he'll just get his things there. Where is mine? Let's go out. So we have a working table here, which is actually more for my husband because he would bring work from home. This is my own space. So we have the cabinets, storage spaces here for me. My husband came here to Indonesia first before our family did, and he was the one who scouted for houses. And when I saw this, he saw this and sent me photos. Okay, husband, get it. <laughs> so, th this is very convenient for me. And, you know, I think uh, ladies can relate. We love having this kind of space for ourselves. So, this is a lady's space. Well, my husband has his, has his own space out there. What I like about this is also you can store your luggages here because it goes all around here. Over there, it actually goes around there. It's very convenient when you get your luggages. Just, you know, get it 
and push, push, push. We have a little veranda here, but I don't really use this because this is too small. So I just put these things that I don't like. It's there. So we're done with the master's bedroom. Let's go to the living room. This is the living room. So my exercise bike pa din dito, but we seldom use it because the boys, my husband and my boys would rather do the things outside. I used to have a plant in this area, but it has become so big, I have already put it outside. This is the living room. This door is going to the dining room. But before we go there, let's go to the garden. So this is a small place that I requested my husband to have. An outdoor space. So living in a condominium is very, very convenient because you have the security you have you know the services that you need you have the facilities down there the gym the swimming pool but you don't not all condominium units would have an outdoor space like this so when my husband saw this and sent it to me this is one of the two factors the dressing room and this one that i was really convinced for us to have so welcome to our little garden. My husband would like to have weekend breakfast over here if it's not raining because you know, here in Jakarta, the weather is so unpredictable. It will be so good and then suddenly the rain pours down, like really pours. If the weather is good, we have our breakfast here. Now my children loves to spend time here we have to cover that you know when it rains and uh, the boxing punching bag so they love to do it here and this is the living room this is the sky we have our own sky here that's why it's really nice whenever we feel the rain <laughs> this room actually this is very nice the door is very nice you see this is very nice right so belly so indonesia because i'll show you some of the walls the design of the walls this is the garden is belly inspired Imagine a cover na siya, so I have to cut the leaves there. But here, look at this. Ayan, Bali inspired ang garden na ito. There. Now, let's go inside here. This is actually an entryway to the kitchen utility area. There's another entrance door here, entrance exit. This is going to the utility room where you come. This is going to the utility room where we throw our garbage. And this is going out here. So if you've seen, Kamina, if you've seen, this is where I entered. This is another room. Uh, entrance for the utility room and this is how it looks this is the hallway so we have our clothes here and there is a storage room here actually there's another storage room at the other end just some stuff that we don't use anymore going to the kitchen this is the kitchen so this is like the the dirty kitchen wet kitchen however you call it there's a toilet here exclusively for Guti. <laughs> <laughs> there so this is the whole kitchen here and there's a room here do you want me to show your room and this is another room here for Guti. Okay? So this whole area, this whole area 
is Gooties. <laughs> because at the end of the day, if Gooty wants to sleep already, she closes this door. So she closes this door and she has her own privacy already. Now this is another kitchen. So this refrigerator, if you've seen my video, the family hub, you can check it out. Okay, this is the kitchen where we just do like, you know, very simple ones, cooking oatmeal, cooking pancake, simple, simple ones. We have the view over here. It's a very, very nice view, but when we go up to the balcony later on the second floor, you'll even see how beautiful the view is. This is the view going to the dining room. This is the dining room. Remember, there's a door. When I was showing you the living room, there's a door going here. So this is going to the living room. And there's another door here. So we can close this door or not. But usually, we don't close the door. We just use the fan. But if we have less doors, we use the aircon. Or if it's too hot, then we close the door. That's the purpose. So this is the dining room. a vacant space I just had a big a giant philodendron here but I need this to be functional so I put I put this here and over here are my son's bedrooms so let's go to my first son's bedroom this is going to my son's bedroom this is his bedroom and he likes his curtains close why is it so dark? This is his view. He actually has a nice view, but he just loves, I guess, teenage things. He just loves to have this covered with his curtains. This is very nice at night. So this is his view. Because we live in the middle, uh, we live in Sudarman, the business district of Jakarta. We have buildings all around us. This is beautiful at night. This is his view. Now going to his toilet. This part is his clothes area and his toilet. This is his cabinet and this is his toilet. There, we're done with the first room upstairs. This is my first son's room. Let's go to my se second son's room. This is my second son's room. So he has his study table here, he has his bed, but he has his own balcony. So this is his balcony. You have that, those buildings. He has actually a very big balcony here. But I didn't put anything because I'm so tired already putting plants, watering plants. So this is as bare as you can get. And he doesn't usually go out here, so we always lock the door. Okay, let's go inside. Over here is his toilet. And these are his own cabinets. Okay, we're done here. Let's go to the family room up here. This area is the family room. This is the family room. So we have a big table here. This is where my sons do their homework or they have their children come here 
or online class when they have online class they do it here one is in his room one is here so it depends on them if you've noticed the wall is bare that's very intentional there's nothing in here we intentionally did this because we would do movie nights here we use a projector so that we will have a big screen here for our movie nights um, this is where my son also does his you know when they have he has his math math tutor they do it there guitar they do it here because it's kind of cozy this is the view we got in here at night we see some people working in the other building there and on the other side, you can see it's glass, just all glass, because you see our garden down there. And in here, you have another toilet. Whenever we have guests, the guests can, they can use this. But we also have a guest bedroom with its own toilet here. This is the guest toilet and this is the guest bedroom. Of all days, I chose this time to do the penthouse tour when Guti washed the beddings. When my friend's sons come for a sleepover, they use this room. You can also see from here downstairs there and this is just a glass window there's no access to the veranda out there because the access is in the other room and let's go to the other room this is another room but you see there's nobody no bed, nothing, only a little sofa because we use this for PS5. So it's like we call this the PS5 room. This is where the kids play and this is where the books are. So in back in Seoul, if you've seen some of my uh, house tour or apartment tour videos, we have our bookshelves in the living room, but now we just put everything here so they get their books, whatever they want to read here, although it's not as accessible as before, but it's okay. And this is the room that has access to the veranda. Oh, this is the door going out. I didn't put any plants here also because it's too much work to do and we don't really go out here as much as we want to. But this is beautiful at night because you see all the city lights. This is the guest bedroom. That's another penthouse there. They have a lower, lower than ours, but they put more plants out there. I think it's 12 o'clock. It's prayer time of the Muslims. That's why you hear the chanting. Okay, that's it. This is the whole tour of our penthouse. I hope you like it. Let's go inside again. This is the whole penthouse tour for you. So this gives you an idea how a penthouse looks like here in Jakarta and might possibly help you in choosing whether you want to live in a house or in an apartment when you come over to live here in Jakarta. That's it for now. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And of course, if you have any questions, just put it down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to read and answer if I can, if you have any inquiries. Thank you very much. And as I always do whenever I end this video, I leave you with a message. Live every moment, love every day, love beyond words, always, Wendy Flora.